Hello, hello, right, okay, so it is middle of the week and arm session. So last did an arm session five days ago, I wanna say, about five days ago. When I did that, it was mainly using dumbbells for triceps and EZ bar, EZ bar even, for biceps. So you may well have watched that video. If not, how freaking dare you? After you've watched this, go back and watch that one. But today we're gonna to be doing biceps and triceps again. This time I'm gonna be using straight bar for triceps to begin with. And then we're gonna be doing some floor press again with dumbbells just to mix it up, which is all good. For biceps, I'm coming away from the bar, okay, away from that EZ bar and onto dumbbells to begin with. So the dumbbells, we're gonna be working for some strict curls which is gonna be all good. And then I'll go onto barbell and I'll do some drag curls and some reverse curls with that as well. And we'll see what else we can come up with. But looking forward to this, absolutely love doing arms. Up there at the moment with shoulders, chest and back and then the poor legs. But there we go. Right, arms exercise. I'm gonna stop waffling because that's what it's become. Let's get into this. Number one is going to be bicep curls, 20 kilograms, and it's going to be strict curls. Okay, so why do we call them strict curls? Because what they're not is what I see most of the time, which is this. <sighs> yeah, loads of momentum. Most of the lift is a hammer curl. Yeah, and you're missing bicep. So strict curl, palms out, chest proud, and curl the weight. So nice control on the way down as well. So I call these strict curls, they're called strict curls because the form is strict. You keep it, the elbow nice and tucked into the side, very little movement in the upper arm. So you're trying to keep that elbow not only to your side, but in position. Oh. Nice, good. So, first set down, keeping the form nice and strict. Now, as I said, we're gonna go on to triceps. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I am an absolute idiot. But no, other than that, what I like doing is working biceps and triceps one after the other. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing now. Let's go. So just finished the bicep. For me, it just means I can really drive down the time that I need to spend in a workout, love working out, love gyms, but don't want to be here all evening with freaking minutes of rest in between. I'm not going to lift that because that's what I was doing on the lap pull down yesterday. <laughs> I would have broke my back. Just keeping those elbows tucked in, coming up just above 90 degrees and pushing down. Trying to step as far forward as I can while keeping the elbows tucked in. This way, what I'm not doing is using my front delt, my body weight to push down. And that way, completely missing the tricep exercise and not doing those muscles any good at all. So by keeping in this position, there's no body weight being forced down with the bar or front delts as well. And 
full extension of the bottom. Really important, nice low control, but getting that full extension of the bottom squeeze, and that way you really hammer home those triceps. Right, first two sets down. So that was first strict curls on 20 kg, then up top with that straight bar. Now we go again. Okay, so if you want to add a level of difficulty to your bicep curling, then what you can do is go for an incline or seated bicep curl. So we're going to use those 20 kilos again as we did before. Now for strict curls, it's not an easy weight 20 kilos by any stretch of the imagination, but I can get a decent set of 10 on each arm, 20 out. So we're now going to take this to the bench. So I'll show you how the degree of difficulty increases. But the great thing about this is it really does keep that upper arm locked in because gravity is pulling your arm down. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so we'll go 20 kilograms again. This time what you want to do is sit back on the bench, palms out again. And lift out. So you're trying to keep that elbow pinned in. So try not to get it to lift as much as anything. And then lift. Those ones, because they're always forcing your arm down, they absolutely hit your bicep differently. But a great alternative to that standing curl. So yeah, absolutely. And that one, bloody hell, feels like it's going to rip your bicep off the tendon. Good exercise though. And one definitely to put into your workout next time you're doing biceps. And as well as being able to do strict dumbbell, there's no reason using that incline there again, that you can't do exactly the same exercise, but this time with hammer curls. And I'll show you that when we come onto that a little bit later. Right, let's get back to tricep. Okay, so for this second set of tricep, again, we're gonna use that straight bar that you can see up there. But this time, instead of going with an overhand grip, we're gonna go underhand. So it's almost gonna be, yeah, almost like a kind of a reverse extension. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. For this one, I get great, great, uh, how can I say, a tricep activation, and it just hits differently. So instead of going overhand, we're gonna go under the bar here, okay? So this time you're gonna be going under the bar. So, oh, I guess that gets the biceps looking good. So you're just, again, gonna bring in those elbows as you did, and you'll just push down and fully extend to the bottom. Really good exercise for hitting those triceps and a great alternative to those standard tricep extensions. Right, back to bicep. Stupidly never one to shy away from pain. We're gonna go for another set of incline seated bicep curls with 20 kilos. Let's go. 
So I'm expecting this one to be absolutely horrible. But there we go. What do they say? No pain, no gain. What a load of crap that is. All pain with a smidgen of gain. I'm gonna lie to you and I'll say that was fucking horrible. Right, back to triceps. Okay, so for this third set, as you can see, swinging like an old man's pair of bollocks, never mind, excuse that, is the rope. So I've now swapped up that straight bar to, for some rope. So let's get going. So again, same discipline here. You're gonna keep the elbows tucked in as much as you can, force it down. Now as the rope comes in, you want to keep it in the middle. As it comes down, yeah, it's literally diverging. So it's going away from itself. And then as it goes away from itself, you want to make sure you get a nice extension and squeeze on the tricep. It gets close as you can, so you're forcing it down. Good, so just really hammering home those triceps. Happy days. Okay, so next two exercises are gonna be floor press. Okay, so floor pressing for triceps and the good old staple diet barbell curl for biceps. So, let me talk biceps and triceps. So there's loads of different exercises. I can show you millions, I can talk to you about millions of different exercises. But to be honest with you, there's not too many. And to be honest with you, a lot of them do exactly the same as the other. It's just what you prefer and what you see better gains coming out of. More important thing is your frequency, it's the intensity of the exercises, and it's just making sure that you're doing enough arms to get the gains that you want. Of course, things like biceps and triceps are massively secondary uh, muscle groups, yet yeah, really do help those supported muscle groups when it comes to big kind of push and pull exercises as well. So it's really important that you work with your arms. That being said, your arms, because of that, get a decent workout just from doing things like your deadlifts, your squats, not necessarily your squats, but you know, a bench more than that. And everything, say for example, like bent over rows where it brings in your bicep laterals and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You, you know probably better than I do. But yeah, for me, I love doing arms and it really does help my push and pull, so I'll make sure I get a lot of these in. Even though they're a smaller muscle group, they still need to be worked. And as well as that, to be honest with you, people say, is it worth going light? Is it worth going heavy? I never go heavy, I just go light. To be honest with you, do what you get the best results from. I like going heavy on arms and I see some decent growth in my arms when I do. But that being said, when I train my arms more, 
when there's more sets involved, when there's more reps involved, it can be a lighter weight. And again, I can still see the same growth in the muscle. So everyone is very different. There's different programs, of course, that work at training. For me, it's always your frequency, how many times you're doing it per week, your intensity, and just making sure that you're mixing up the exercises and go with the ones that get you the best results. The best way to do that is try different types of programming, try different types of results, make sure you jot them down, make sure you're tracking your progress, and then just stick with what works. It's that easy, that simple. It's not bloody rocket science, or I wouldn't be doing it. Well, to be honest with us, most of us wouldn't be doing it. Right, let's stop chatting and let's crack on. So next bicep exercise is gonna be that straight barbell curl. We're gonna be using that straight bar. I'm gonna be going with a wide grip into standard grip. Never like doing this type of kind of close grip for peaks with this bar because it puts a hell of a lot of strain on your wrist. If you're gonna do that, use an EZ bar or a super EZ bar. So for me, I'm gonna go with 10 repetitions wide and then come into 10 standard. There's gonna be no rest, so it's gonna be 20 reps in total. Now we're only using a what, 25 or 30 kilo, I think it's 25 kilo barbell here. So it's all just making sure, nice and strict. Keeping those elbows tucked in. If you feel yourself forward, coming forward, lean back slightly, chest out, chin up, and that'll help you out a great deal. Good. So now we move in to shoulder width and go again. And just make sure you're keeping those elbows nice and tucked in, squeeze at the top, then control on the way down. for luck. Oh, nicely done. Right, so let's now move on to those floor presses. And for you that haven't done this before, I definitely recommend you can do this. Grab some dumbbells, grab some mats at your gym and give it a go. This one is all about making sure you keep those elbows tucked in and you're pushing the triceps up in the air, keeping them at shoulder width. Okay, you don't want them touching, you don't want them flaring, you want them literally just going straight up in the air like a rocket. Right, I think that should be positioned perfectly, let's go. And as you get heavier on this, the hardest thing is picking the flipping things up. So as I said here, you wanna come down here, put my legs down so you can see. So you're getting the elbows tucked in here, and then you're pushing straight up. So down again. Get that full extension at the top and squeeze. Yeah, so squeeze at the top here. And back down. Give them a squeeze. Elbows down. Let them relax at the bottom. Whoa, that made that position that much harder. So there we go. Oh. 
price. Good, good, good. All right, so I've got another couple of sets of those floor presses and I've got a couple of more sets on this barbell as well. But this time, instead of doing standard curl, we're going to do wide and close reverse curl. So this is going to bring in a lot more forearms. So it's going to make your forearms absolutely burn. And just like your hammer curl, smashes the brachialis and gives you that bigger, wider arm. So I'm going to be bloody lazy with my editing as per usual. We're going to go straight into it without cutting or moving around. Who needs to? I'm in a flipping 192 square meter garage gym. So we're going to go wide here for the first set of 10. Then keep it nice and controlled. So now we'll go into shoulder width. One. Two. Try and keep those elbows tucked in. Three. Four. God, oh, Jesus. Burns. becomes that much harder to try to control on the way down. Whoa, when there's that much burning involved. Four more. One. Two. Oh, three, Jesus Christ. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, flip it. That. That just absolutely canes the living daylights out of your flipping forearms and bicep. What I'm talking about is it hurts right there. <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. Right, let's go. Okay, so this is my third and final set of the floor presses. Ooh, as I said, really good exercise for your triceps. Whoa, let's get this done. Keep the elbow nice and tucked in. Just force them up. I'm going to speed these up a little bit because I'm going to hit a decent rep range here. All right, making sure it's squeezing out, touching the bottom, and push it up. Oh God, that wasn't nice. Right, let's go on to the last two exercises of today. One bicep, one tricep. I'm not gonna tell you too much, we're just gonna get on with them, let's go. I know, how weird does that look? <laughs> okay, right, so we've got TRX, Station all set up, ready for some bicep curls. And we've got strap ready for some tricep extension. So we're gonna be doing some prone or hanging bicep curls using the TRX. We're gonna be doing some standard 
tricep extension going from inverted grip to straight bar mimic grip one after the other we're just going to hammer these out so we're going to start by absolutely obliterating the triceps so this is one set fits all and then exactly the same with biceps so let's get into a position and let's get going so this is going to be a winner takes all but there is going to be no winners in this because i'm literally going to do it until i can't do it anymore right let's go so if you've seen these straps before it allows you to either go with almost a hammer curl or rope grip then you can easily just turn it around into a straight bar so we're going to be hammering each of those to literally i can't tricep extend anymore so i've got a, a weight on which i reckon i should be able to do about 15. finished there so that was almost the rope grip now we're going to see if we can get any more out just going with that standard grip Drop it, it's a drop set my ass on here. I'm just gonna batter the hell out of them. Oh, Jesus. more left. Go straight on. Jesus, that was anything but pretty. Bloody hell, that hurt. But hey, I'm not going to say it. Right, now we move on to some bicep curl prone with the TRX. Let's get going. So, this is going to be the final exercise of this arm workout this evening. This is going to be prone TRX pull ups. Yeah. But instead of pulling up, yeah, really kind of engaging the back, we're going to come away from that. And all we're going to do is try to mimic that bicep movement. And people, believe me, God, this one hurts. Let's go. So as I said, what this isn't is a back exercise, okay? So none of the back. We're gonna turn the palms in to mimic the same type of movement as you would do with a bicep curl. And we're gonna try a few concentration, they hurt, but we'll also try a few where we bring it in. And all we're looking to do here is just get that movement there, yeah? So movement in, targeting the bicep. So that's the hard way to do it, okay? So where you're bringing that to your head, Back down. Oh. Oh, you 
you can also do that as well. So keep your arms spacing out, pull in. So it's almost mimicking a little bit of that reverse curl or drag curl. Well, this one's great for your arms, great for your bicep. You just want to be bringing the handles into your chest. Oh, God. Oh, flip the neck. That is an absolute bicep killer, but such a cracking exercise. So next time you see TRX, use the bloody thing. There's so much you can do with TRX. And that's why I've got two TRX stations in my garage gym, because they are wicked. Really, really good. Okay, right, so that concludes arm session for today. So all in all, pretty much on par, about 35, 40 minutes. Some decent exercises today. We've done some strict curl. We used the barbell, standard barbell curls, reverse curls, did some floor press. We've used TRX, which is all good. We've used a lat pull down with both straight bar and the strap. And of course, we did a set on the rope as well. So all in all, a decent workout. A few other things I could have done. Hammer curls with dumbbells. Because I've also used the dip station for triceps as well. But as I said before, halfway through the video, there is so much you can do. All I try to do is if I know I'm doing arms twice in a week, I want to do and use nearly all different bits of equipment I've got in the gym. But I want to make sure, say for example, bicep, if I went really heavy using barbell and easy bar, next session I want to use dumbbells and vice versa with triceps as well. Keeps your mind active keeps your muscles and movements and joints and everything else thinking as well. But that's all from me. So I hope you loved the video. If you did, please subscribe, like, and comment. Love reading the comments, like getting back to you. Any advice I can give you, fantastic. Anything you want to drop in, drop in. Other than that, please, please, please like. I want to get as many likes on these videos as possible. And I want to get to a thousand subscribers. For a lot of people out there, thousands literally drop in the water. But for me, it'd be great just to get to that thousand. A little bit of a milestone, and away we go. So if you can help me do that, much appreciated. So spread the word. Other than that, take care, have a cracking rest of the day. Coming to the end of the week where I am, be exactly the same as you. <laughs> but I'm waffling. See you all later. Take care.